This ocean scene was modeled, rendered, and animated all within Form Z. Each object represents a different modeling or animation feature, and there is a separate demo for each of them. In this presentation, I will model this set of coral and sponges. All right, we're going to start with just a object here that has many facets, and I'll use this obelisk shape along with the attach tool. I'll select the bottom face of this obelisk, then select this other object, and it will attach that object to every face of my second object. So that's how I quickly created this uh, coral you see here. Next, let's create that orange tube sponge you saw in the movie. So I'll start with a cylinder. So I'll draw a circle. I'll extrude that upwards. Now, how about we select this top face, and I want to round that. Let's give that a round radius of 2 inches. That looks good. Next, I'll cut a hole in this. So let me uh, set my tools here and set my height to graphic heat, and I'll first select this top face, and then I'll draw a circle on the top face, extrude downwards, and that will essentially cut a hole into the top of that tube sponge. Next, let's give this a little bit of shape. I'm going to use my uh, deform tool. How about a bulge? I'll click on this object. And then once I've got the deform going, I'll bulge it out in two directions at once. Deform tool is a tool I use quite often, especially when modeling organic types of objects. So now that we have a bulge here, sort of like an antasis on a column, we need to make a, a number of duplicates of this, so let me go to a side view of this. And uh, let me make one copy, and I want to use my Move Tool and then my Rotate Tool to position the first copy. Maybe tilt it over to the side like so. Uh, next, I'll go to a top view. And I'll set a multi-copy with a rotate. Let's see, uh, five copies. That should work. So I'll select my object, pick a point to rotate about, and then make my five copies around the outside of the middle tube. Next, let me go to an axon view. And I will set that back to one copy, and I'll use my transform tool with the uniform scale just to give these copied tubes a little bit of variance in their size. So I'm just using some uniform scale here to quickly achieve that effect. Last, we're going to create another that uh, another sponge. It's a that yellow tube sponge you saw in the movie. And I'm starting out with some lines that are already drawn in 3D space, and I've got a cylinder here, that yellow cylinder. I'll use the Bend Along Curve tool, and I'll select the cylinder and select the lines that I want to bend that about. And that's how I quick, quickly create the shape you see here. All right, let me go back to my uh, isolated movie. And here's our final movie of the corals and sponges, all modeled, rendered, and animated within Form Z.